back in the building with another podcast. This is Raw Dope Podcast, and I'm your host, Han 5000. And it's your girl, Molly, first lady of YBG, the female voice for Raw Dope Podcast. Now, this right here is like a, a kind of like, it's a diva day. Yes, it this, is. This Monday in March, and we got three beautiful young ladies in the building, and they're going to introduce themselves, these women do a lot of belly filling around the city. Mm-hmm. Um, one of these women, she's got two very historical spots in Baltimore. One of them is downtown Baltimore, which I call the black side of downtown. The black side. The black side of downtown. Mm-hmm. And then she got another one in a hard out community on Emerson Avenue. She's here with her partner, Miss Carter, is in the building. Then we got another young lady that took the menu from mm. the big yard. Mm. She took the menu from MCIJ, from JCI, from MTC to, to ECI to to WCI to mm-hmm. North Branch. We got the girl Uptown Hookups in the building. Uptown Hookups in so the ladies, building. So, ladies, I appreciate y'all for coming out here. And basically what we do on this podcast, we like to interview, interview people on the up and coming just before they get bougie. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Also, we like to show respect for our city because it ain't a platform for the um, – for the, uh, the have knocks to get a voice And people always think that Oh it was peaches and cream Or she got her money from a nigga Or somebody funded her Or this and that So you know what I mean This the platform to tell y'all stories And then we just like, got a couple little cardinal rules here They ain't nothing like It's three It's just three No fuck shit No fake shit No, no foolishness. foolishness Anything you say can and will be used against you on the internet mm-hmm. So we gonna start with you Uptown Hookups Just introduce yourself to our audience And just give them a little briefing of yourself Hi. Hello. I'm Brittany. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Brit. That's Miss Uptown Hookups or Butterscotch. Okay. Whatever y'all want to call me. Okay. Oh, Brittany 22. Okay. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Mato. I love you. You're so funny. <laughs> I'm a little shy. It's uncut. It's uncut. Tasha? Yes. Tasha. Don't play with her. The one and only. Yes. Carter, sidekick. Yeah, mm-hmm. Guess it's done. You know, I run a downtown location on Lindy Street. Yes. Going down for my yeah. sis. All right, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Chef Carter. Yes. Miss Carter. 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 Kitchen in the building. Hey, Miss Carter. Hey, Miss Carter's kitchen. Y'all call me the whole kitchen and everything. <laughs> <laughs> the the whole kitchen. Like, now this is snack. So, you know. So, starting with you, uh, Uptown Hookups. It started, you started out your trunk, correct? Yes. And now I see the truck with the chalkboard. And you said, it was funny, I think you said MSE. Is that when the jail going locked down? Mm-hmm. So I mean, shop closed. I said, oh, she got the she got the lingo with it. That's it. like super dope. So when did you get started? Um, I started Uptown Hookups February the 6th, 2018. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I started from home. How I started was. Yes, the idea. How I started was, I was thinking of a different way to make money to get, you know, my significant other, which was my kid's father out the streets at the time. Which is your kid's father. Yes. Mm -hmm. He was. Because I'm (laughs) mad at him right now. Uh (laughs) Look, anything you say. He still is. He still is. Y'all know that. But um, I was trying to, you know, try something different. You know, I had friends that cook, so I didn't want to go that route. Because, you know, whatever my friend's doing, I don't like to do the same thing they doing. I so, agree. You know, like, if I got a friend selling hair, I ain't selling hair. Just because Shit. my friend doing it. So. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Where you learn to hustle from so, friends. One day, I just, you know, me and him sat down and talked. And, you know, I just told him, like, let's figure out something to do, you know. Let's. You know, do something the same but a little different. Like so when you say a little different, what actually gave you the idea of doing the hookup thing? Like, how did you know how to whip it up, the ingredients? Like, where did you get the idea from? Okay, well, um, I got the idea from the guy Max on Baltimore and Curry. Mm-hmm. I, me and him used to go in there all the time and get hookups from, you know, Max, the yes. guy who was making them on Baltimore and Curry. Max, she looking for you. Yeah, He the one. With a flashlight. She's looking for you, Max. So, um... One day, you know, we went down there to get a hookup, and he wasn't there. And we like, well, why he ain't in here? And the guy was telling us that they fired him, you know, the phone has tried to steal his idea, blah, 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 blah. So I said, all right, say no more. So, you know, that's when me and my baby father said, we going to find this man. We going to try, you know, 
put something together. You know, I didn't think it was going to be how it is Happy now, it is. Mm-hmm. you know, but now it's I got over 250 customers. Mm. So it's just like like it's big, like So what made you get the truck? You got tired of just working out your own personal vehicle? No, I just said, you know, I had a couple customers who would, you know, DM me, sometimes text me and be like, listen, don't give up on us. We love your food, blah, blah, blah. Because at times I felt like, look, I'm tired of this. This is too much. Mm. You know, because at one point in time I started doing it by myself because, you know, my kid's father got locked up. So Mm -hmm. I started doing it by myself and I said, man, this is too much. Can't do it. No, don't give up on us. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to support you. We love you, you know. So I said, all right, I'm going to step it up a notch. And, you know, I start saving the money that I was making from selling the hookups out Mm -hmm. my trunk. And I just got a little truck. So did he teach you, you know, how to put the ingredients in? Like, where did you get the, how, how do you know how to do that? I used to work for Keefe. So. <laughs> yes, okay. she brought the Da Vinci Code. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I used to uh, do the commissary over the jail, so that's how I knew everything. The they go in was. it. Yeah, and mm-hmm. you know, but my kid's father definitely taught me some of the stuff that I know, but some of the working men, and I used to watch the guys in the day room, you know, whip them up, but they, you know, they ID, they had an ID with Shit. the trash bag, mm-hmm. you know, cutting it up, yeah, and I used to like, what y'all making, and you know, they'll sit there and tell me, show me how to do it and all that, and that's how I learned. Dang, that's tough. I respect that. So the Golden Girls, that's start. The <laughs> Golden about, Girls. Was the Golden Girls? Girl. Nah, listen, the Golden the girl Girls. Girl said she's a girl. I, I be Miss Carr the girl today. Oh. She want me to be, I'm my <laughs> I'm a I, what I, what I, I'm a nigga dom. She want me to be a nigga dom. You feel me now? This is this is for everybody. Nigga dom means is if you gay, right, and uh-huh. you unsure, uh-huh. call me one nine hundred nigga dom. Okay. This don't screw on. This does what it's supposed to do, and I promise you that the kid not minds. So I'll be your nigga dom today, Miss Carter. I'm sorry, but, Michael. but just give us a little bit of like how y'all got started, and give us the history. Oh, it's a long history. A long okay. history, like from like loyalty, Dennis. Long, like yeah, yes. because before it was even loyalty, Dennis, we didn't have a name. Mm-hmm. Um, all I know is that I had just enrolled into culinary school, and like me and my friends, we always hung together. And I was just like, you know, we need we need to make some money, because when mm-hmm. I went to school, I had to pay tuition mm-hmm. while I was going. Like some of my tuition, my um, financial aid didn't cover everything. Okay, so like me and my girls were just in the house chilling one day. And we just came up with the bright idea to just sell dentists because we always knew, like, the older ladies in the neighborhood used to do it back in the day or, like, older people. But it was never no young girls, like, really cooking. Cooking in the kitchen, switching in the kitchen. Yeah, when we started, it wasn't popular. Mm -hmm. It wasn't popular on IG for young girls to be selling food. Right. (coughs) We used to always post the pictures. We used to cook a lot of food. Sometimes, like, we had our aunts and stuff. Of course, they was working in the hospital, say their friends and Mm -hmm. their jobs and everything, buy food. But sometimes, we used to cook so much, we had some left over. We would ride through every neighborhood. We'd pack the food up. We'd be up Park Heights. We'd be Mm -hmm. down on the Avenue, East Baltimore. We'd be outside of Select. But you're from CBS? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're from So, did you sell sell something there? God damn. Oh, the whole neighborhood right. supported us. The whole neighborhood okay. supported us. Those, they was our first customers. The okay. neighborhood yeah, first. God because yes. they, they the people who knew us and our family. They yes. were our first mm. customers first. Mm. And then people started catching on. So Catching the wave. Catching yeah. the wave. Mm-hmm. And then it just got big. Like once I got out of school and then I used to be a manager at a restaurant. That didn't work out. The restaurant went under. I'm like, man, I'm just about to start selling this food every day. Mm-hmm. And we started selling the food every day. And like... It just grew so big to the point where, so I was like, I got to have a store. I just used to just save my money, save my money, save my money. I'm like, I'm going to get a store. And I used to just save my money because, like, I was living at my mother's house. Okay. And it would be a uh, cause be <coughs> lined up from the top yeah. all the way Waiting around. Waiting for orders. Yes. My, my, my neighbor. You've been with her from the start. My okay. neighbors used to get so mad. <coughs> they used to call, like, all type of people on me and everything. But I never would stop. Them notes used to come to my door. I was like, I don't care. You don't stop. They going to have to lock me up. Yes, you was don't stop. Say. But That's I never it. stopped. Mm-hmm. And saved my money. And I was like, I'm going to get me a store. And I hmm. jumped out there on faith. But hmm. customers definitely and been with me the whole entire time. Never you had something that started with you. There's something that didn't finish with you. Every day we got up. Every day I went to the market. When I started to catch hags. 
had to come back. Had That's to cook right, the girl. Food. Dig every, back down. Every mm-hmm. morning I got up. Every morning I started with like a hundred and something dollars next to nothing. Got to that keep flipping and, and flipping and flipping and flipping because mm-hmm. until I was able to stack it. Yes. Then when I was stacking that money in, it was coming in. I was saving it. Mm. Saving. That's the one to go buy stuff. Like I can go. I'm like, nope. I'm gonna just save. Not it. yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. So when you when what made you pick Liberty Street? Instead of getting something like off of North Avenue where your clientele can get too quick. Okay, okay, okay. So I wanted to, when I went there, I saw it was like a Felice sign. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, because I wanted to start out something small because I was like, I don't know if I'm ready for a sit in, but I right. want to try a car, y'all, because I can probably manage that. Mind you, I'm teaching every, every, I'm teaching myself all of these things as I go along. So. Yeah, I come close. Uh, come a little closer. So I'm teaching. You know, as I'm going along, I'm teaching myself everything. Uh-huh. So I was like, well, I do like this location because maybe I wanted not only for my people to eat the food, but I also wanted to tap into another race of people. Yeah. Hopefully they yes. come by and they can get the food as well as okay. the white people, the Asian people, and the Mexicans and so far. And they it's coming through, huh? coming through. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. The white people mm-hmm. walk past, they look, they keep strolling. They but they're going to smell it too. Next thing, uh-huh. that's the next thing you know, they start rolling in. So, so my question with the with with your food because I know you don't do all the cooking anymore. No. How do you get the chefs to master the ingredients, to master the taste? I cuss them out every time. <laughs> Sound like this yeah. is not the taste. This is not my. Yeah, this is not my special yes. sauce. Yeah, I yes. say all the way out. They be like something wrong with her because that was like one of my biggest fears. With opening a business, I'm like, if I open this business, I'm going to need help. Yeah, because you can't do you all can't alone. You can't do it by you yourself. And the food is not going to taste exactly the same from the house because it was my hands. Yes. You know, mainly. So I was so afraid of that. But I was like, but I got to open this business. Mm-hmm. I need people to taste this food. I want to branch out. I can't do it in the house no more. It's getting big. Mm-hmm. So I wild out. So do you I still was, put your hand in the pot, though? Up Emerson Avenue because that's the newer location. Okay. So I'm there every day. I'm in the, I wash dishes. I mop the floor. I sweep the floor. I get on the cash register. I get on the line. I do payroll. I pay the bills. I do all of it. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, when I leave Emerson, I go downtown, check on them, make sure they straight. If I got to do something down there, I that's how you work do it. 15, 14 hour days. This is Brett, right? Huh? What's your name? Tasha. Tasha. Mm-hmm. Do you know how to cook? Yeah, I do. You taught her? Yeah. Yeah, she did. So you got the, she uh, the whip game all together. Recipes. I got the whip game. So you holding it down downtown and yeah. she holding it down up Emerson Avenue. Yeah, I make sure they keep that food right. I make yeah, sure it's And right. you stern. I make sure. I've been there. You're stern down right. there. You got to be. In you are. Business. You are. You got to be. You are. So it's. I don't know how true it is, but we did a little research. It was like three of y'all. Three. Mm-hmm. Y'all started out with three. Yes. Mm-hmm. And this is it uptown hookup. Four. four or five of them. Yeah, it was, like, it was four, y'all. It was like four. No, it was yeah, four, four of us, and then, then it turned into three, and then it went now to two. Damn. And why? Why? Because so, it's all boiled down to loyalty. Like it's like you <coughs> with a group of women. We all Some, grew up as childhood friends. Okay. Some you know, people get jealous. Know? Like me and her did this every day. The other partner came in on the weekends. Some people end up, you know, mm-hmm. feeling like they can do their own thing, and that's mm-hmm. fine and dandy. Do your own thing, but we gonna swing over. But it's better this when you do it together. Yeah, you know, teamwork make the dream work. But you know, when people want to do their own thing, you just let them go ahead and do their own thing, and that's it. So, how old was y'all when y'all first like met? Oh, we've been friends. Like, we was like seven, like five, six years old. Like mm. that. Damn. Right, yeah. We all grew up in yeah, the same neighborhood. Marching, the marching wow. band, fooled everybody, was in trouble, smoked first blunt. Everybody. Girl, I want your lips. Every time you talk, I just... <laughs> yeah, I keep looking at I just want uh, your lips. Me too. I just want them. Just put them on my face. I'm on my gay shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so damn funny. <laughs> no. But listen, though. So, what's your favorite dish? What's your specialty? Because I never see the car the special up there. Or I'll be coming too late. I always come at night. I never make it during oh, the daytime. All right, so I had to, you know, on um, certain days, like if it's kind of on our slow days, mm-hmm. I would do a call to trivia, mm. and my um, customers, they turn into my live, and I ask questions about myself and the business, like if you've been following me for a long time, mm-hmm. or you just started following me, and if you answer the question correct, you get like 
three. I do like three, four, <coughs> three, four questions, and you get to get a free dinner. Mm. That's dope. I know somebody so, that'll win that. That's dope. Yeah, That's so, dope. Um, I love to make meatloaf. Like meatloaf mm. is one of my favorite things to make. And when I make I want to taste your meatloaf. It, it sells out. So, Do you make that every day? Is that no, on the menu? No, that's not. That's a special. Okay, that's so that's day. on the trivia. Yeah, that was like one of the trivia questions, and somebody got it. Yes. All right, can I keep it a hundred with you? Yes. yes. Yeah. That motherfucking salmon, yo. Oh, I my God, God, yo. I love it. I ain't lying, man. Yo, I love the, um, what time y'all close today? We they, they, they close, we period. Oh, my God. God. They like you. Yeah, it's no, yeah, 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 it's no, nothing going on on Monday. Nothing going on on Monday. But the shrimp and grits is a beast, too. Yeah, yeah. Everybody don't get that often though. Yeah but salmon is one of my favorite dishes oh my I God. eat the salmon a lot I love the Alfredo the Alfredo. I like the turkey wings. That, yeah, that, and and that's the like fastest turkey. thing you can get to. You know what? People always say, what's, what's the best seller? But it's quite a few best sellers that we have. It's not really just one item. It's probably like it's like probably a good seven or more items that people just love. Like I can't really say what's Jessalari is popping up on the avenue. How was that? Oh, it was you know she lived around the, she from around the corner. Yeah, but it I, was I, it was dope though. She cool and funny. She's funny and down to earth. She said, what did she order? You can you remember? She had land two land chop combos. She <laughs> said her mother wouldn't share shit with her. She's like my mother will not share this food when she get it. So yeah, she ordered two land chop combos. That was dope. I was excited about that. So are you expanding more in, in Baltimore? Or are you going to branch off out of state? Yeah, both, both. Mm-hmm. But, the, but you'll never leave the city. No, I'm not going to just That's pick right. up and just leave. No, I would never do that. I love Baltimore. I love the city. Like, I mean, you know what? A lot of people, like some of my customers, they come from the county. Some come from D.C. I actually had somebody come from um, Canada. Yeah, I've seen so, that. Yeah, um, I've seen that. And he eats around the world. Yeah, I've he seen that. He likes to eat around the world. And, you know, some people, they uh, come So when he Emerson. came, I don't mean to cut you off. Did he come to the Emerson yeah, Avenue location? Yeah, I told him, I said, I'm going to be in the hood. He okay. said, that's fine with me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so he was well, like, he Asian. Or, like, okay. So I was, he like, that's fine with me. I was like, okay, because he had eaten at my downtown location <coughs> in the summertime, but he asked which location I was going to be at. But some people. He wanted that hand, that. that yeah. Mm, that's what he said, though. Like, like when he blogged about it and I looked on his page. And he was just like, "That's just what he do." And he was like, "Yeah, couldn't yeah. wait to get here." Mm. I like yeah. how y'all do y'all research, y'all behave, y'all receipts together. Yeah, okay. so yeah. you know, basically. So and know what? I, this young lady, I ain't recognized when um she, when I came in here. Uh, but it's but coming I to you. Remember, no, I saw when she first was like starting, and she was yeah. doing her hookups, and I always like her pictures yeah. and stuff like yeah. that, and you know, comment from time to time or whatnot. And I just love how when she take all her pictures of um, the customers, the customers in the hood, because that's what we used to that's do. What we used to and I kind of missed that a little bit. Like, yes. all, all, I used to have you know all the hood niggas in the house. <coughs> they got the flatters, and you know they post, and I used to love that. Or all the, <coughs> all the in, in the track, they all take a picture, send yeah. it to me, and they all my flatters. I mm-hmm. like that type of stuff. So I had got away from like taking pictures of everybody because sometimes we get so busy, I don't mm-hmm. have time to come and snap, you know, snap a picture and all that. But I really love that. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. So when you after you got the truck though, um, uptown because after you got the truck, like how did, how did that make it better for you on the business? Just having a logo everywhere. Do you get like people flagging you down or trying I'm to run a to truck get me down? A I, I need a hookup tomorrow. Do you people run a truck down? That's what I want. No, mm-mm. oh, you got something on there. Listen, you heard the phone ringing when she was sitting in here. Be- be- know be- they don't be- stop. Be- be- <laughs> Hey, hey, you got some more in there? <laughs> People behind me. Hello, Uptown Hookups. It's Brittany speaking. Hi, may I help you? Oh, yeah, we behind you. Do you have some more? <laughs> like, oh, my God. Like, <laughs> but I love all my customers from east to west. County west yeah. to county east. I love them all. Like, I don't even do a delivery fee. That's how much I love them. Wow. Like, yes, that's, that's how cool. much I love my customers. Yeah. You do. They become like family, mm-hmm. especially yeah, the regulars. You for a long time, they really do. The regulars, they they get so comfortable, and they talk to you about. It. We be like a therapy session too. <laughs> all the time. That's what I was ready to say. Like like all a bar, time. something like bar yeah. tenders say they become people therapists yeah, all the time. Do. You really do. They get comfortable. They get spoiled too. They yeah. do. Mm-hmm. I can't even be in the back of the store. They, they want a little extra. Oh, where Tosh at? Tosh, come get the phone. Tosh, come. I get supposed to got my cake the last time. Well, where my cake? Come and fix my food. <laughs> come and fix my food. I'm like, oh my god, I'm working. Yeah, 
because everybody just got they when you when you go to stores and I guess especially dealing with food and like salons and barbershops, I think they the more bars, barbershops, salons, and restaurants. Mm-hmm. You know, er, more more in the community lock in with the people and corner stores. And the black boys, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's cool. what I'm saying, but I'm just talking Raw about the and business. Uncut. And, and see, not just, to cut y'all off though. But I love my black boys. Yes, that's, yeah. why that's where it starts from. Listen. You can't lead them out. Listen, this is raw and uncut, right? Nobody thinks about them. Them people be outside four or five mm-hmm. o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. They tired of eating from the corner, getting yeah. the same food every day. Yeah. Come on now. So it's just like you gotta show them love too. They outside all day, every day, working, hustling, just like we trying to work and hustle. So you gotta make sure they good. And that's what right. I was about to say. And then they got straight money. Come a little co- that's close. That's what I was about closer. to say when I was saying about the hood because, like, when I say some of my customers come from far, and when they pull up Emerson Avenue, of course, it's a bunch of guys out the right. front. So some of them might DM me like, Miss Cold, I was going to come in, but then, you know, all them niggas out front, and, you know, it ain't a good look for your business, and, and that, that, this. And I be like, listen, it, it might not be. I say, but they been on this block forever. And I'm like, and to be honest, they really like security. They security. They going to protect that yeah. spot. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they don't Absolutely. Know. They are. They are. They don't sell nothing in my store or my front. Whatever they do is right down the street. They don't let no foolishness go on on my front mm-hmm. or anything. They don't bother my customers. They don't disrespect them or anything. And they like, ordering up too. They when they ordering they up too, they my customers. Except for bre- too, so breakfast, I, can't, I know I breakfast. Can't be Bang. I said they they hungry too. And they all the time because they my customers as well. But I just want the people not to feel threatened because they really don't be bothering nobody. That's the truth too because I think more um, um, people of color business in the urban community wouldn't really get hurt or, or harassed because. I think the more we people want to take from the Chinese people because they got a whole glass around the mm-hmm. And you like, man, I can't even pick up the stuff. I can't even let my son or daughter walk through here and pick up the stuff they want. They got to be buzzed in like they locked up. Mm-hmm. So when you open up a spot, if you notice our, our culture and our color, and we open up a spot, we just open it up because ain't nobody scared. Like on Liberty Street, you're not scared. Boy, you better the fuck out of here. You feel me? It's just <laughs> open. It's just your people. And you, they, you know they ain't going with it. We had a restaurant called Supreme Oasis. And it was in the neighborhood forever. It never been robbed. Never. It never been robbed in 30 years. Nobody never thought about robbing it. Nobody never entertained the idea of robbing it. And they never had no no money to eat, they was feeding you. They'd feed you. You know, they didn't treat you bad if you came in and say, you know, motherfucker got a little pride with them. So they like, yo, um, they hand you the money and they just be like, Got you. You just and they, they man. Why you say that? You ain't got to do that. Matter of fact, you can have your money back to scrape me out when you got all. Of it. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. you know what I mean. We just need Shout more of that. Brother Jermaine. Do it all the time. We do it. Too. I do it. Too. It would be yeah. a dollar short. Whatever. I'd be like, whatever. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. We got tip money. I put it in. Right. Me Straight too. All but we do it all the time. I, um, I had one experience with your store. Where I cut myself showing off. Anybody know me? I could get out of control. <laughs> so I'm feeling myself one day. Chick tell me I ain't never had Carter's Kitchen. So I said, Yeah, man, girl, I go down there ain't about nothing. Nothing. The so prices. I said, no, Wait. listen. Okay. So I'm thinking, I ain't thinking nothing about it. Listen, I get the turkey wing joint. I said, baby girl, what you want? She done went online and seen some shit, so I ain't tripping off. But when the bill came back, I, I said, them prices $73. Worth it. I say, shorty. <laughs> Listen, so I say, I get on some phony shit. I say, yo, I, I got some waters and shit. I give her the waters. She tell me she don't drink that. I say, what the fuck? Oh, I say, time went back and had to get a she juice. She wasn't the one, the, the blue one. I don't know which one it was. She the wanted juice the blue was $3, one. but I'm saying, yo, $76. She wanted the blue drink. I said, yo, if I would have knew that, because I, I ain't know she had the page and all that. So if I would have knew that, I went on the page, too. I'm going off a of word of mouth. That's how I got down there. Somebody told me about the wings. I ain't going there and think about all that. Nothing else but the wings. The, uh, uh, a Boise took me down there when I mm-hmm. first came home like a year ago. Uh, whenever y'all open up, y'all just open up three, four months. So my food was taking long, and I and I and I and I was acting up, and they just was like, "You want your money back?" They, I mean, they was. <laughs> nah, I was wait. I'm talking about. I got the faking on these women down there, man. So I wait like, like a oh, week. you can't get your money back. Yeah, they just they 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 really hand. You can't me. rush the food. It's, it's, it's <laughs> they amazing. handle me. That's so, exactly what we say. Like, you can't I rush it, so it tastes like, good. And not to cut y'all off, but I like her because she she cooked. Right then and there, she ain't storing it's no not food all night. All in a, none of that. Uh uh-uh. uh, the chicken wings ain't soggy. Mm-mm. None of that. Like everything is fresh. Yeah. I put the wings in my mouth. I be like, <gasps> <laughs> right, right, right. And that's a good thing, though. Do so. Do you got like vegan dishes or like vegetarian no, dishes? I'm, I'm, I'm going to start that. I have a friend who have a vegan restaurant, and so mm-hmm. he want to do something with me. 
So I, cause I always hear customers, Miss Carter, did you want to get something yeah. vegan? Miss yes, is everybody going vegan? Yes, and I be are. like, okay. Everybody want to be a green machine. This, and let me do this. So yeah, it'll be coming soon. <laughs> a few vegan, not a lot, but just a little something for you know the people that yeah. want to support me, and I want to make sure I have something for you guys. So yes. Yeah, that's that's pretty cool. So vegan coming soon. You do the wet ones, the stir fries, and the wraps. You got to do the vegan joint, too. I don't know how you're going to do the hookah without the I noodle. I do the spicy ones. However they want me to make them, I make them. Mm. Listen, I'm ready to tell you. I'm ready to no give you, I'm ready get, get, listen, I'm ready give you a jailhouse secret. He told you how to make all that. You got to learn how to make lasagna with the noodles. And pieces. Mm. That's the you. When you put that on your menu and say you got pieces and then you got lasagnas. Going mm. You going giant. So that's your new... That's it. You got that. That's so, free consultation. She said, shh, shh, shh. Listen, that's for free. Listen, I'm going to give y'all a secret. Ooh. I'm give it to us. I'm already on that. Ooh. And yes. I'm on the rice bowls, too. Yes. Ooh. That's it. Right. I think that, that's it. All that's right. it. That's it. So, Tasha, what's the uh, the favorite thing you can make? What's, like, your, big, your best dish since at the being? I cannot get away from the cornbread to save my life. Mm -hmm. okay? They wanted me. I thought you we started at the school. Bye -bye. I was mm -hmm. like, okay, we're going to teach somebody else how to do this. Somehow, the way it comes back to me every time. They don't let me leave out the cornbread. Tuesdays, they be calling me. You finish yet? Is it out the oven? They know every Tuesday I do the cornbread. It's Your the cornbread food. tastes like cake. Yeah. Mm. It's yeah, great. special glaze. They call it a crack. Damn. She said it's great. We're <laughs> 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 really, calling it cracks since we started. <laughs> so. Well, I cannot get away from that. Now, me being a guy, that y'all think that I'm a girl, but. I'm a oh, guy, yeah. so we gonna we gonna oh, yeah. just we gonna just keep it real though. So we gotta start with you though, like uh, like you married, divorced, single. Is it complicated? <laughs> she already made it clear. I don't even want to talk about it. That. Can be complicated. Like we got to hit you because then we got the Molly got to ask you the the question that come after that. So it just give us that. So because you know anything you say can will be used against you in that. So. No fuck shit, no fake shit, no, no foolishness. Well, this I shit uncut. This shit raw. Listen, so we did. keep it in a hundred. One thing about me, I'm going to keep shit raw and uncut, and I'm going to tell the so truth. So are you single? I ain't going to speak on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's complicated. I ain't going to say it's complicated either. So, so do you the plead DM, the fifth. So do the DM be bumping? I know the DM. And I ain't talking about I'm for keep, the hookups. I'm going to keep it a hundred. I'm talking about for the hookups. Speak in the mic. I'm going to I'm keeping it 100. I don't fuck with niggas on IG. Okay. I feel like niggas on IG. When yeah, your birthday? April 17th. Mm. Okay. I feel like niggas on is IG. Aries. Aries. Is no, I don't think that's Aries. Yes, that's Aries. It is? Yes. Yeah, it's Aries. You all right with me? I feel <laughs> like. <laughs> my shit April the 7th, so. I feel like niggas on IG have hidden agendas. They have motives. Not speaking for all niggas, but right. some niggas. Most. They, You know, they watching your page. They watching what you do. Yeah, I always mm -hmm. liked you. Nigga, I never seen you or know you. Mm -hmm. I got to know you or be around you to fuck with you. That's mm -hmm. me. I can't. Deal with nobody that I meet on Instagram. I can't. That's cool. Okay. That's dope. Tasha. Tasha. I'm in a relationship. Whole baby on the way. Ah, <laughs> yes. Congratulations. Feed that baby that good cornbread. Congratulations. Congratulations. Then are you happy? You can get married? I hope so. Are you the godmother? I don't know. The aunt. She's the aunt. She's the aunt. That's <laughs> how I get married. Like, you're not the godmother. You're the aunt. aunt. Like, she's the aunt. <laughs> Aunts are better than godmothers. Yeah. They all. So. Well, you coming to the baby shower because we have They have a personal thing. That's how A and R. That's how A and R. But she ain't been to work in months, so y'all, it's y'all saw debut. Y'all saw big debut. We know this. That's we know this thing. We know her from a long time. Long time. Long history yes. with that one over there. So, Miss Carter, we don't gotta ask you your question because our, you know, producers and stuff did they research. So your whole life. We know your. You know the whole your whole life. We know what your whole life. Mary. Is it a wedding coming? Wedding should be coming. Wedding should be okay. coming. Okay, we need we need an invite. Did he go to K's? Please make sure I get an invite. No, he will not go to K's. We don't want no K's. What you want, RK Jewelers? No. What, what, what? you want? Uh, he can't go. You he gotta go. He can't. You can't. That's his thing, man. He can't take that from. That's the only thing a man can do in the wedding is buy the right ring because everything else oh, she the gonna ring do. Will be no, I, I could believe that. Any man want to marry his wife, goddamn right, he going to get her the right ring because that's a, so, a so, symbol so of So the wedding's coming ever. soon. Yeah, I got to wait to get proposed to first. <laughs> but you claiming it. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. 
And that's a beautiful it's thing. It's definitely coming. Okay. Well, Erica haven't invited that because she's upset yeah, about yeah, the reveal. Yeah, she haven't invited. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inviting some of my customers to my wedding too because everybody got to see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. We need a tag Mona, VH1. <laughs> that's what I would just say, man. You need like some 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 love and hip hop shit. Oh, yeah, that type of wet and not to be show. on that shit. My book of my schools alone need a show. Mm. I don't know it. I, mean. <laughs> I think Baltimore period, like, be a little yes. bit more exposed oh outside of everybody to talk about the murders. Hey, we do this is it right here. Dope Raw dope, dope podcast. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Do. Like, I like that y'all doing this. Like, we really do got some real dope, talented people got in that right. city. But I think they that's being overlooked it's a, it's and a very, It's You're a very right. attacking city, though. Yes, it because is. It's, what's most dangerous Ooh, about yeah. Baltimore is they getting look. a dollar over rent money. Listen, they will take the hell out of you. Yeah, you are a person once you you're doing good, but not better than that's that. You got to for these people because I cuss You got to learn how to deal with the devil. You do. Yeah, I understand you cuss people out, but the, your haters, you can't that's cuss out. That's your favorite word I know. They I cuss knock them out. down from the back. Cuss these people out. You feel me? Because I don't be playing, especially not on my page. Don't come on there incorrect. Because mm-hmm. baby, you will learn I'm not nice. Mm. See, the haters At that all. you can see, they not the threat. It's the ones you can't right. see. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's it. That's the most dangerous people that's, in the those world. Those are the dangerous people. They the most that's dangerous. Easy. So how do you how to so start with all y'all? So how do y'all st- how do you stay away from being in a relationship? How do you stay away from the drama? And having two business and popular spots and your popularity is growing a lot. And I'm quite sure your old man ain't really into that. But how do you still be a business woman and then maintain a relationship being so that you so much in the public with social media and your businesses? How do I do it? I just do it. It's easy. Like, <laughs> I just heard you so blankly, so vividly, man. I cuss them out. No, because, <laughs> no, because it's around yourself with right first of all i don't have a million friends and i'm not trying to be cool with these people and these people and these mm-hmm. people right over here my mm-hmm. circle is very 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 small I only right. deal with a select and few of people the same mm-hmm. people you see me with you want to see me with them all the time you're not gonna never see me with these group of girls mm-hmm. these mm-hmm. group of girls these group of girls i meet new people all the time but they're not my friend i know who to roll with and who, who not, not to yeah, roll with. i respect I know that who i just know better because growing up, how we grew up, and, and you know that because you have experienced things. I have things. experienced in a lot of shit, like mm-hmm. from a lot of things. People try a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'm older, I'm wiser. I don't even get involved in it. I cut people like once you do something stupid or I don't deal with you, cut <laughs> yeah. straight off. Yes, uh, I, I don't, yes, no yes. yourself. Yep. It's nothing. I'm done with you. Yes, I don't need yep. that That's how yes. I got so much stuff I deal with for us the business. And I love stuff. it. I'm not letting nobody come in my space and Mm-mm. be toxic. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nobody. No negativity no negativity none no toxin, none of that dumb drama been there done that over it mm-hmm. yeah I, you gotta keep it moving. that's it yeah that's it right there mm-hmm. and then and then that guy man he, he hurt he's somebody about the guy. i'm just saying he, he's a he hurt somebody like i don't think you want to play with his old lady mm-hmm. so tasha how do you how do you how do you maintain just being there everybody know like it's like y'all like a uh, rich poor and ace everybody know you next <laughs> up in line b everybody know mm-hmm. everybody seen how april diva did her best friend and the person that grind with it so everybody know you up le- next so you basically you you're in this car That's like right. mirror you get what I'm saying? If they going to take care of they coming for you. That's just how it works. It ain't yeah, just yeah, one yeah, they, they might even get her first because they know that's how and they going to pe- get her. And then listen, this is a question I got for you. How many people just hate the fact that y'all still rolling and come sideways mm. because you still mm. would it and mm. have so much mm. negative mm. about you? That's oh just how do you God. deal with that? Well, it's hard. I mean, it's I got to say it one more time. Right. I cuss them out. They nah. definitely know they gonna get that. Okay, right. that is I ain't even got to touch on that. But you just got you know you got to stay in the course. You got to stay in strong. Like you know we grew up a little bit differently. Like, so we stay in doing morals and yeah. character. And morals. Yes. Yeah, anybody right. that know me know that's what I'm about. So right. you know you just gotta you know I believe in the process. I always try to motivate myself. I tell her the truth. Mm-hmm. I'm not no mm-hmm. yes man. No, no you, you cannot. Like, we right. talk as we talk as, as 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 business partners, and we also talk as, as sisters. sisters. So we we try to keep a fine line on the balance mm-hmm. of that as well, and try not to let the business just take over our sister your sistership at mm-hmm. the same time. So mm-hmm. I can tell her like, look, you was wrong. Yeah. That ain't oh, right. I know. This how we should do this, and she take what I have to say into consideration as well. She don't just overthrow like. 
I'm the boss. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, right. It's not like that with us. So mm-hmm. my opinion and what I gotta say, it what I think it matters too. And she know I'm not gonna lie to her. She know I'm so y'all here. A so we right y'all here. not here. Yeah, y'all here. Absolutely. Okay, so you. It. Now I see you rolling by yourself with the hookup thing, but I I don't know. You correct me if I'm wrong. I, I, it was like it was was it, it started out with you and your guy, or did you did you it was like one of your friends and you was doing it, or because I know it was like a war to stir fry girls was stirring up online and stuff about who had the best ones, who was fake, oh, and who took that. that. You, <laughs> you know what I mean? Gonna it's always right. gonna be competition. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. me. And my kid's father mm-hmm. that started it off. He got locked up, and, and that I was kept me. going. Right. So it's me by myself. It never was a she. Mm-hmm. It never was another he or mm-hmm. nothing. I've been doing this by myself since July, since he been locked up. Dang. So, so you got a year she. anniversary. Yeah. So what you gonna do July on the anniversary? What? Um, on what anniversary? The, the July. Yeah, you you doing it by open. yourself? No. Of me doing it by myself. Yeah, the, the one year anniversary of you selling your first stuff. Yeah, anniversary is February money. the 6th. What? No, listen. I was doing it by myself. I was whipping up. He was whipping no, up. No, I'm talking about, listen, like, like she had a first day she opened up the store. We got a first episode in the first podcast we ever did. You know that day that you sold that first stir fry and say, this is the hustle. That's your you anniversary. you made three of them, three different kinds. You yeah, made a red. that was February the 6th. Okay, that all right. So, oh, wow, right, that day's already passed. I thought yeah. it was July. No, July, July is when my kid's yeah. father got locked up. Okay. okay. All right. So, yeah, so that's cool. So, by yourself, though, how do you run a machine by yourself? Do the kids help? No. Dang. How do you stir fry all those noodles, though? That's a lot of work. Because it's the hustle. The hustle going that that's money. You take care of them kids. You got to pay that bills. You going to get up out that bill. Yeah. You going to put that shit together. Listen, listen. <laughs> my motivation comes from my kids, y'all. Yeah. I'm all my kids got. Right. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Girl, don't make if me I go to dad tomorrow, baby, my kids' father locked up. Huh? Right. On, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Gotta do what I gotta do. I don't care about what nobody say. Mm-hmm. I don't care about who stir fry better because I don't beef, beef with black people. I right. don't beef with black owned business. If you making a stir fry right. too, do that. I support you. I post you. But I'm not about this. Oh, my stir fry better than yours. I ain't like that. I respect like that. that. And that's how you going to stay. I'm not like that. And, 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 oh, and I support I everybody. That. I go to everybody's store yeah, and buy yeah. their stuff. I support everybody. I'm not no hater. Right. You, know, you know, you can't shine throwing shade. I'm no, the, you no. cannot. You know, I'm not about to go on Instagram. Oh, fuck. Yo, he making this my stir, stir fry, fry yeah. better. Fuck mm-hmm. this person. Every time somebody sneak this on me, somebody will send it to me. Yes. Multiple people send it to me. And I always say, listen, I, I'm, a, I'm not beefing with no other person. That's right. I'm not. That's trying to get it like me. We trying to get the Koreans and all them other people yes. out here. We yes. ain't about to beef you with You said that's why other. she blessed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because but the focus that, is being in your own. Focus on other people. That's when you right. lose your focus. Just focus on what you're doing. Yeah. Fuck what they doing over there. Focus on what you're doing. That's how yep. you're going to win every yep. time. Mm. And my Not motivation, clearly. Else. My motivation is my <laughs> kids. Like, I don't be thinking about who making it. It could be somebody out here that doing better than me. I don't give a fuck. My kids first. I ain't thinking about yeah. what you doing. But I'm hey, doing better you, for my yeah. kids. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But hey, I definitely will post you and promote you. Yeah, support so and so. If you not like, it it's cost you nothing. Guy, I'm gonna be honest. There's another guy out here that sell hookups. What's that his I name? Know of. His name Shag O D Tuan. When I say his hookups is that. His shit, the bomb.com. Mm. I ain't even gonna say his shit. Go his shit, the bomb.com. He, <laughs> he up there with com. me. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Yeah. He up there with me. Yeah. But hey. You, you always post gonna hate on people time. that's gonna compare you to somebody, and we always. went through that always. the whole process of us getting where we went at. We always would compare to this person. Oh, y'all beefing with great grands, or yeah, y'all beefing like, with these people. We be like, what? Like, and like, we're making the shit up. It was a lot of people. <laughs> It was a lot of people who was probably making stir fries before me. You know, it's going to be a lot of people after, after me. You. They wasn't yeah. selling them. Right. Yeah, they, wasn't, go- they, wasn't, they definitely wasn't. Feel. They That's definitely how I wasn't. Feel. And I said all the time, nobody seen how good it was till I took off with it. I know it was a million motherfuckers yeah. doing it. Probably so. Mm-hmm. But when they seen me take off with it, that's when everybody tried to take it serious. And mm-hmm. I'm going to keep shit a stack. Because mm-hmm. I ain't seen nobody out here really getting it but Max, the, the guy on Baltimore Curry. Because mm-hmm. everybody was going down there. Me and my baby father was going down there getting stir fries from him. But when he stopped, wasn't nobody really taking it serious. But once I start taking off with it, mm-hmm. that's, that's when all the shit comes. That's how we open the doors like, for everybody else. We did the same thing. Like, it's going to, that's how we was happen. hustling in our neighborhood. <laughs> It was old ladies that ain't sold dinners in five. It wasn't making dinners. But when we opened up shop and they, <laughs> they knew coming back coming, out. They saw coming back out. We was like, oh my God, they're going to miss Annie down the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we 
yet. But that's how I feel. It's enough money out here for everybody. It is. They print that. They print money. Yes, all day, every it day. Not be it's printing right nobody now. Nobody feeling some type of way about what the next person no. doing. There's enough money out here for. I know about five. I got about five friends that's out here, and all of them get money. Yeah, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. I'm gonna have the same customers as you. One day they yeah. might want a stir fry. The yeah. next day they might want some a, soul uh, food. Yeah, mm -hmm. you never know. Like, come on. Like, we ain't about to and beef with each other. Anytime you can, I ride down Emerson Avenue, and it's literally, literally, a uh, Chinese joint right here. You twenty twenties. You walk. Two steps, mm -hmm. and the next one is right there. Mm -hmm. They right like literally one house apart from each other. They both open. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't they, stop. They both open. And they just all just all doing what they gotta do. Yeah. Go to the one they like. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's they it. go to the one they like. Both of them gonna mm -hmm. make some money at the end of the night. That's right. Yeah. And then people flip flop, so you can have the best food in the world. Somebody just gonna go to that other spot because they gonna spend. I got tired. They don't want support. And I think Chinese people yeah. figured that out early. They, but yeah. see, this the you thing. Know, and they one, saw the same thing just right down the one street. One thing that I don't like. One oh. thing that you you find. One thing that I don't like mm -hmm. is when I'm serving a customer. And they coming to me telling me about another person, what they doing. Yeah, someone so selling stir fries. You but stop it, don't stir you? stir fries was nasty or his stir fries mm -hmm. was nasty. Waiting for my feedback mm -hmm. so I can say something so they can start some shit. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me about what somebody else doing because, to be honest, I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to be honest, I <laughs> don't, don't give a fuck. <laughs> right. Like, for real. I'm worried about me. And doing what I gotta do kids. for me and mine. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck about what the next person doing. Now, if this person wanna link up, we can. Okay. By all means, we can get money together. But don't tell me no bad news about a person hoping you gonna get my feedback. Cause you sending it back yes. to step doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Aww. So how many kids do you have? Three. How many kids? My first one. Mm. Aww. Okay. Okay. Molly. None. Molly. Mm. She got one on the way too. No, Sorry. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to have one so bad. Yeah, so how many? How many? We just go three, round and round. I have three children. Beautiful children. Beautiful. Single mom. Beautiful. See, I would have had two, but that second one was twins, so I got three. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yo, she keep life. it raw and uncut in this joint. So, do, do y'all listen to Baltimore hip hop, Baltimore music? Because we do yes, got to talk yes, about music. Yes, All right, yes. give us your top. Pick the number. Seven. Give us your top seven. That's hard. All right, I'm gonna be honest. I like it don't have to be red. All right, I my, number one, for this. my number one will always be RTS triplets. Oh, my number two is uh YG Tech. Okay, number like three, that. which probably was up to number one or number two, was YGG Tech. Okay, um, who else I like? Um, I like Twan music, Shag, OD Twan. Mm -hmm. Um. How much was that? Four? Yep. I like um Money Jake songs. Yeah. Jiggy Five. Runner City. Yeah. Six. Um one more, right? Yep. It's some more I wanna add, but I'm 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 gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair. Okay. Um uh I got four in my head right now, but Go girl, just give them to me. <laughs> just give them to me. <laughs> Yo, don't. Just one girl, more. I love her energy one just, more. Uh, one more. Go ahead. <sighs> All right, I like uh No, I ain't gonna say it. I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> you on seven. Say it. <laughs> Why you want I can't even name that many. I can name that's who I like. <laughs> All right, go ahead, Miss Carter. We go. You own us one. It's gonna always be little scooter. You right. Shout out to scooter. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, scooter. TRCG rock. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, G rock. Okay. That's my number seven. Um G rock. One key, I think he tells that he underrated. Yeah. underrated One key, Chris. oh, no. underrated little Chris. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah God post been on here months yeah. ago. Uh huh. Oh. Um, Money Jake, I think he can really rap. Yeah, yeah. Money, Money Jake, like my guy. Jake. He can. You got to check his interview no out cap. with us. Like, no cap. He, like he really can blow. Oh, okay. Young Moose, I like Moose. Oh, Moose, okay. Moose hot, Moose definitely, definitely hot. Moose. Um, what'd you say? YG Tech. Yeah, yeah. Like him. And <laughs> he wasn't make me a jingle. <laughs> so, and YGG Tay, him. Yeah. Um. Who else did I um be listening to? It's so many. It's it was. So many. <laughs> she yeah, said it's so many. Now you see how I am. Yeah. Now you see how I am. Somebody. I'm missing somebody. I know. Now you see how I am. You said all Who my favorites. Who we listen to all the time? 
You already said everybody. Money Jake, um, Moose. Oh, Moose Jiggy Tuck. Runner City. Yes, yeah, Jiggy like Runner Jiggy. City. Um, what's that other, um, I don't know. It's a it's Oh, so the, um, the Benjamin Sleepy. Oh, ha, ha. Let's get a rock and a rolling. Yeah. Blue Benjamin Sleepy, yeah, yeah, he's shorty hot. Yes, I love him. And yes. I like um, the other ones he too. Yeah, 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 Blue Benjamin Boys. Yeah, the Blue Benjamin Boys. Y'all still got oh, it. Yeah. 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 Studio guy, yeah. on their nerve. Right. <laughs> BZ says, oh, do these back. guys support y'all? For the, old, for the old heads, we got to rock with Goose on the Avenue, Big Goose. Big oh, Goose. shout out to us, my okay. Muslim brother, Goose. Yeah. Shout out to Goose. You know. Big homie Goose. So do these guys support y'all businesses? Oh, I yeah. forgot yeah. one because he real yeah. underrated. Valley Smalls. Oh, shout yeah, out to Valley Smalls. Valley the guy, man. Valley, Valley Smalls the Valley, fucking Valley guy, Valley definitely had some bars. Yeah, 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 Valley been doing it for a while, too, and he, he, he definitely it. been grinding. For a long time. Long, Long time. time. But, like, our city, though, like, from y'all being women, right, and, you know, I commend all of y'all around the table as being women because y'all tolerate so much. And mm. I don't even, I always tell myself and tell my, my, my guy sometimes, like, yo, just imagine if you was a woman. And really, imagine if if a girl could drop off three kids to us and be a, a mother when she wanted to. Mm. Imagine when times get hard and the bills kicking in and then a nigga say he gonna do something these three, four days late what he was or supposed to do. Or don't do it do. at all. Or don't do it at all. So I'd be like, yo, I'd be feeling if I, I, you know what I'm saying? I understand. So I never was the type of dude, especially when I That's got where the older. Coming in. Especially when I got older and mature, I started learning how to respect women because at one time I didn't have no respect because my father didn't teach me no respect and the community didn't teach me no respect, especially when I was younger. I had to respect older women, meaning my auntie, grandma, mm -hmm. and mother. But the girl my age or a couple years older, I said some of the ignorant stuff that I still hate myself to this day for saying just to a woman because in other cultures, they don't even use the word bitch to their they, they, they no, women. No, that was so They don't even, I'm not going to lie, just, I lived in a few different states and up, 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 up New York, New Jersey, just been, I've been everywhere and I just be like, dang. We talk to our women in crazy ways, and then they just, from some way, y'all just find a smile. Y'all can still not be mad. Like, y'all can forgive. Y'all can forgive the shit that I know I will never forgive nobody mm. for. You know what I'm saying? Man, I respect y'all. So what do y'all think the state of Amer the, the state of our city as far as when it comes to black men? Well, they need to be, they need to stop being influenced by this rap music and no reality from mm -hmm. entertainment. Mm -hmm. Why? Morals. Okay. Cause IG really got it fucked up out here. Yeah, I said do. Okay. Yeah, I said do. These these guys like I I don't be understanding these young kids, you know, because they do a lot of dumb shit. You know, there's a lot of killing going on. Yes, like dumb. Shit. I mean, people got killed when we was coming up, but not like not like that. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot of women getting killed, kids getting hit by bullets. Like it's just like a a war zone out here, and they really gotta get a grip on life. Cause life is not about that. Like, it's like y'all want to kill versus getting some money. Mm -hmm. You know, if y'all think y'all slick on the block, but y'all can't even go open up a business. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But you want to, you know, just kill, like, for dumb stuff. Get some money. It used to be something behind yeah. being on the block and making the yeah. money. It was a purpose. It was a purpose. Like now, they just want to they just wanna They want to dress up. Want to be known killers. And just want to be known. I think it got a lot to do with, like, the generation before them too, the people that so get so when 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 do you when when do y'all feel like the generation just got so messed up? Because I think that maybe coming into the two thousands, these two thousand babies, yeah. the millennials, the, the millennium babies. The, I'm gonna no keep it a hundred. Like, it start with the it starts okay, from the home. parents, it's of the course. Home. It's the millennium it. parents. Now, millennium let me parents. let me Most let me correct that. Not the millennium children. It's the millennium. Parents. Yes, to be is. honest, you some of these kids, grandmothers, 37, 38, yeah. they stand in the streets. Running There's around, some people, know? grandmothers, 30. Yeah. But some of these people, What's grandmothers, okay? ain't nobody, oh, excuse me. I ain't mean life. to cut you off. Ain't no motherfucking 30 year old grandmothers out here. Are you yeah, serious? Okay. It might be 35. Yeah, okay. 30? 35. Okay. You, you, women are having children at, at, at 12 and 13 15. years old. Yeah, so they growing up with their kids. So Damn. They, when is they going to teach them if they don't yeah. know? And then some mothers having babies with their kids. Yes, they are. Yeah. 
It starts yeah. from home. Some of these people, mothers, some of these people, mothers and fathers, not in their life. It's majority of their grandmothers mm-hmm. taking care of these mm-hmm. kids. The grandmother can't do too much. God forbid, she old, she on a, you know, a tank and all that. She can't chase the child around. You know, she can't do too, but so, so much. the children leave. You know, she mm-hmm. got, she getting SSI. She can't work. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? All Thanks. the little bit of money she got, she trying to help to raise the child, but that ain't enough. So what the child do? Uh-huh. Go right so out right. on the street. Uh-huh. And what they do? They go on the street and they sell that shit to their mother and they fall because mm-hmm. they out there getting high. Choice like, of drugs now, too. Like, when we was going out, we just was smoking weed. Right, like, we was not doing and no right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the Percocet. And the Zanny. And the Molly. The, the Perks. The Perks. You got to think about it. That's, that's still a form really of dope. Okay. Back in the day, a dope fiend was a dope fiend. Be like, ew, no, I don't never want to be like that. Yeah, now we you know the, what I mean? Now we the drunk aunts and aunts. Yeah, we are. We the drunk. Yes, we are. We are. <laughs> it's, it's definitely the drugs. And that's what they say it's definitely the, the drugs. drugs. It's the it's drugs. It's definitely the drugs because when they take them drugs, they don't they don't care. They not thinking. They make Yo, no you have I'm children doing. getting out of Perkins that's at 12, 11, and 12 years old. 13. Oh, then. I'm saying my and mother. And then, too. I, I'm, I'm a product of a teenage mother. Like, my mother had me, I think she was like 15. Yeah, you're a product of a teenage mother, but we still weren't in that era. You understand what I'm saying? I think it started. I think it like started with like my mother and them. No. I think I think women was having. Hold on, let me say. I think my grandma They've was been having babies young, in the sixties. Yeah, in the forties and stuff. But yeah, I think it was age. like when a woman got mar- pregnant at the age she was married. They was having it's the drugs. Was teenage pregnancy in the eighties, but you still had the big mamas around. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was a different yeah. era. It was yeah. a different yeah. era. And they cut yeah. you in line. You it was a different yeah. era. Full of family. Yeah. Yes. And it's a whole it was family. a village. It was a village. Right? Yes. We right. right. lost the village. The village. Yeah. Because you know, back in the day, growing up, you had that lady down the street that everybody hated because she was nosy as fuck. Nosy shit. Your grandma or your mother calling you in the street lights. Come on, everybody got going. You, your friends, and everybody else. You understand what I'm saying? But y'all gotta understand. A lot of stuff changed. That's what I said. It's the era. Niggas gonna come in there and do a home invasion. It's the era. It's the era. Yeah. It's the era. Anytime 65, 75 year old woman getting shot sitting on the air. From snitching. No, not snitching. Just. Like, they're outside, just stupid shit going on. It's wild. It's wrong. It's yeah. It's crazy. So, what it's, do y'all think the solution scary. is? Like, what is the solution though? Like to, to the honest, problem? I don't think it's no solution. Riding, protesting, I ain't gonna stop. None of it work. I feel like it starts within the person that's that's doing it. You have it to want to change. Them. You gotta want to change it. All that riding and we going to well, go protest. Well, it can be because, I mean, not saying it, but they need to, like, when we came out of school, we had the recreation center to go right. to. Right. Yeah. It's no more rats. We, looked up we were to just the talking people, about the that. The people who was at the rec, we looked up to them. Mm-hmm. The people mm-hmm. who made our brothers be on the football team, mm-hmm. the basketball yeah. team. Mm-hmm. We was playing basketball. We, we were shooting pools. Really? Marching bands. Marching we was doing all of that. Yeah. We had to put plays together for holidays and use our creative mind. We yes. didn't have a whole yes. bunch of stuff to work with, whatever. But we don't have that no more. These we don't. kids don't literally have nothing but to go outside and do what? Get into some dumb shit. Why? Because they bored. Mm-hmm. They bored. So they need something to do. I was thinking group homes. I may think recreation center. Somebody have to open up something for these children. They need somewhere to go. They it's they like do. when you kind of rec, you do. know, like the city own the I old buildings. Like we got to make our own rec centers. Yeah, like buy properties. Okay, you buy properties. Got them out. Yeah, and make shit in them. We got to do it ourselves. Yeah. We doing properties and we yeah, doing group homes. Yeah. We doing assisted living. We can make we rec centers, right? We can make rec centers. Yeah. Yeah, it's after it's school true. programs, but yeah, you have people in there tutoring the children. You understand what I'm saying? Time these mothers gotta get a hold of their kids. Yes, y'all, y'all be crying when somebody do something, but y'all child, you probably laid up with a nigga or something. You yes, out on a yeah. block or uh-huh. something like that. Go see where your fucking child is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, see what your yeah. child is yeah. doing. Yes, you know they out there. You know they a little bad. You gotta tame their ass. Yeah. You got a whole lock on them. But sometimes you can be the best friend in the world. Your child still turns but, up the, the, the wild out. Yeah, but that brings me back to this. Some of them let them just do what they want. Some of them be smoking with them. them. Some of them smoke with them, cuss with them, all that. I don't play that shit with my kids. What? I think it comes from this. Like, if you got, (laughs) just say, per se, a mother, right? Uh, Just a a, a particularly, just say a girl that come from a projects or anything. She got five kids, Mm -hmm. four different baby fathers. You know what I mean? Just say that happened. Mm -hmm. One of the baby fathers get killed. You know what I'm saying? Another baby father. Two of them in and out of jail. And one of them, he a all right guy. He just do what he can do. What happens when that woman got to work? Guess what? Go to work and That's your push. Up. 
No, hold on. That's it right there. You just said it. Ain't no push. I mean, it's your push as a mother, but when your two sons in there saying, Mommy, I need this, and see Mommy busting her ass, see, the hustle don't always come from I need tennis shoes and I want to be fly. Mm. The hustle come from I'm tired of seeing my mother struggle. Little nigga know that at seven or eight years old. I'm tired of Mommy ain't got this thing. I hate these niggas she bringing around. So it's something in them. A little, them little niggas eight, nine years old squeezing. You think they want to squeeze you because they just want to hang out? No, it's something wrong in the house. What well, they say? I want to help. They want to help, but guess what? They want to help. They get strong enough and want to help, and you can't knock a man for that. Your daughter, you can say, baby, is gonna be okay, but your little son, he's a man, so he said, I want to help my mother. At ninety percent of the hustlers came out from when I came up, came out and wanted to help their mother. My mother get high, so I gotta look out for my siblings. Average nigga that jumped out like there that's, never was that's reckless. That's where the hustle comes in with the parent. You out, you on a truck, you doing stir fries. Okay, mommy got her own business. It's not, oh, she overworking herself. She working No, that's up today. I'm talking about it people is, that came up that mother don't got their own business. They don't need, it's not even I smart enough to get their own business. You know what I mean? No, nah, you being on a defensive note, you're not no, listening. No, it's you not, not, not listening. Defensive. I'm not being defensive. What I'm saying to you is uh, a, a parent, I mean, a child having a parent that's deceased or a child having a parent that's incarcerated, I think that's enough push for the, for the mother to get her shit together. But and what if you, the, you what I'm saying, what if the mother got her shit together and her son still end up with double life plus 50? She said, I bust my ass and I did well, everything I don't know for about you. That. You, don't you know, surrendered him to gonna, God then because I don't know about that. No, but listen, because but it's, it's a potentially can happen. That's that why goes you, back to you, you can be the best parent in the world exactly. and, your, and, your, and your child still exactly. choose so, to do what they want to do. With my opinion with that, I feel like you're supposed to teach your kids what you know. Some morals, that's what I'm saying. You teach them and you show them. I hate to say it, but Because if you don't do it this way, you're going to be dead like your father. If you don't do it this way, you're going to be in jail like your father. But I hate you understand what I'm but saying? But that you never works. Some it works. It's working for me. I mean, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I it's heard working. that shit all my life. You don't have you children. Dead, you, you don't have children. No, but I'm saying for me as a married all my children. life, you're going to be dead on jail. and end up like your father. I heard that shit all my life. But at the end of the day, when your, your mother can't pay the bills and them no good ass niggas and baby father she got, it make you hustle. Your and she had two jobs. always pay the bills because it's always resources. Mother's got to stop bullshitting around. Yo, Chris, around. Are you saying it's, it's resources. It's a way around. That's it is. some faking shit. Who it's not faking. Re- who the Isn't fuck got resources, resources when you ain't get evicted? It's resources. It's resources. Not when you it's not housing when programs. It. It's resources out here. Yeah. And the yeah. choices you make. It's yeah. resources yeah. and it's choices. Say, oh, you go get a side job because yeah. my cousin, when my aunt was struggling back in the day, mm-hmm. he used to beg people. Don't say that it's just not no way out. It is a way. It is. It's a way. I don't give a fuck a person that think it ain't no way. It's a way. It's a way. That's excuses. That's excuses. Safe, legit hustle, or you gonna have. So what hustle do you give a thirteen-year-old that ain't got nothing to eat in the house? It's people getting high. Just could just answer that question. What hustle do you give a thirteen year old with no food in the house and they mother smoke coke and they father in and out and they trying to eat tonight? What hustle do you got for them to eat at at, at nine eleven tonight? What's that hustle? Some of, the, some of the kids when I used to go to the market, they used to ask can they beg up my put my groceries in the um car. And right, I, I grew sure. up doing that. I used to give them ten dollars a piece. It might be three of them. But Are you I selling water? Okay, how you get it? They selling you, water. You you like, gotta it's, 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 think it's, about reality because you, know you ain't talking reality. Like, is to see these grown ass able men right who can't go get or, a job or brothers or taking away mm, that right. is the job for mm. thirteen fourteen year old kids. Yeah. They go to the car wash and stuff like that. Y'all seen grown ass men squeezing? Yeah. Cut grass, yeah. youth mm-hmm. works. That's what it goes no, back to the it's resources. Just, no, it's, just like, it's, just it's resources out here. You don't have to be a bullshit. Right you don't. You, to show these boys yeah. how to it's be choices. Yeah. Because when my cousin be they want to follow out, behind the dope dealers. That's the thing. That's it. And they the ones who grab y'all. The they gotta be the ones to let them know this ain't right. And this what you gotta do. Yeah, yeah. I hate to say it, but sometimes you gotta prepare your kids to live without. Instead of giving them a pay, you gotta do that. Like. You know what I mean? You got to prepare your kids to live without you because Uh we're not going to always be here. You hear what I'm saying? So it's like some stuff I teach my daughter, but some stuff I'm not ready for her to To know expose her to. Yeah, but I teach a little ins and outs. She know if I go to dad and mom, what to do, what to say, and all that. My daughter know I cook. She nine years old. She Mm -hmm. know I cook on the stove, all that. Mm -hmm. Everything. I can be like, uh, you hungry? She ain't, mommy, I'm hungry. Um, can I go cook such and such? All right, go ahead. She go downstairs, yeah. make her little stuff on the on the stove, fix her pancakes or whatever she want to make. You can grow food. Yeah. The seeds ain't, 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 ain't that expensive. And my sister do the 
same you can way. grow Ramen your food. Nephew, you can grow food. They got their own page. Ramen mm-hmm. sister treats. They already making shit. Go make shit. Sure what kind of treats are they? No, they they cook food and they make um desserts too. Ramen sister treats. My niece and my nephew. Mm-hmm. They already had it. I mean, the kids is learning now to, to get a little hustle because they that's are. what they see. Because I see the black now. people is that's slowly what I mean. but surely, you know, grasping on the, the concept of, you know, ownership, owning mm-hmm. houses, owning mm-hmm. businesses and stuff like that. So the kids now want to do that. But I see exactly where you coming from, stemming from, you know, the kids have really had to grow up in the hustle and, 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 and the grime of it, and mm-hmm. the struggle for real, for real. That's why I say I hate to see grown men out here taking away from the things that, you know, the, the kids had to grow up off of, like being at the market, begging up, mm-hmm. and the car wash, wiping mm-hmm. down cars, you know, to get their little couple dollars so they can feed them and their siblings because their mother maybe was out getting high or she mm-hmm. had to work three jobs because mm-hmm. I was a latchkey kid myself. My mm-hmm. mother worked two jobs. She had four kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So we had to survive on our own mm-hmm. a little bit. Mm-hmm. I had that fall where that be like, huh. You know? Listen, my don't father open, got it, baby. Listen, I still can't get nothing from him. I had that father that be like, "Don't open the door for nobody. Mm-hmm. Don't let nobody yeah. in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't care who it up. is, granny, grandmother. Back then, you could stay in the house by yourself. That you better not is. open that motherfucking door. That's don't what I said. It's, it's, it's about the, the choices. Was even your parents yeah. you like grandma can't even show you the way. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can't have a father that got businesses and sell cars, and you still won't even be driving the car. Yeah. You understand like, what I'm saying? That's grandma. You so you can't depend. Ass. You got to teach some children how to survive <laughs> yeah. and teach them how to not. When you go on the block, it, it starts with the black boys too. Yeah. Stop giving them packs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know but what I, I mean? I feel like this with the black boys. I feel like, all right, the hustle is to get what you can get and get out. It's yeah. not to stay on that corner for and fucking they 20, 30 And they're still there. I feel like. If you going if you gonna stay there for a while, you should have enough money to buy that block back. Mm-hmm. Put some put or some houses up for rent or own that store you stand in front of. Is a school rest in peace to my baby around father. the corner or some shit. Get the recreation rest center. Rest in peace to my baby father. You get yes. Cause back buy them then, houses, buy them properties in them blocks that you yeah, stand in. Back then, the yeah. niggas on the bomb. We had yeah. block parties for school start. They buy exactly school supplies and all that. Mm-hmm. Bomb, mm-hmm. Now, bomb them up. Houses yeah, not that them. expensive. You can that's get houses for five thousand dollars. Over here doing y'all yes, think they, they just are. getting chips and shit? They coming here. That's right. That's right, Tasha. They smart enough to know. I'm huh. talking about dope about my own shit. My police can't come up in this motherfucker's house uh-huh. and move because uh-huh. it's my shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what they got to get smart enough to do. That's what old hustlers did back in the day. They was buying their girlfriend's hair salons and yes, uh, they were. clothing, boutiques, and washing their money. They knew what to do. These niggas is stupid. They don't know that they want to buy clothes and they want to buy belts. I don't see why they get fresh. They you get fake fresh. rappers. You getting fresh to run from the police. What the fuck you? How the fuck you supposed to run with butters on? Like how the fuck you got fresh ass butters like, on your what's feet? What's the plan? How the fuck you supposed to run? What's you the got plan? them tight ass gang outfits on. I ain't gonna lie, I love gang. Shout out to gang because he got some nice ass shit. But you got that tight ass gang shit sweatsuit on and your motherfucking ass yeah, running. How the you, fuck you, you supposed you to get away from that? You gotta take your money and invest. I agree. You get what I'm saying? How you supposed you to run? Well, how your you money. gonna get? You can't get but so far with butters Cause on. Cause just like it print, it spends. So once it's gone, it's gone. Hey, you see them Chinese motherfuckers? They babies be three years old already in the store. Cause that's what in they the kitchen learn in like the that. They right, learning, baby. I make By the them time sandwiches. Little motherfuckers get sixteen. They the ones running the store. You don't need to see mom and pop yes. them no more. You yes, like, yes. That's what LP people yes. like, the concept mm-hmm. behind. Like you gotta get that generational wealth on. So that. Marilyn Mosley, like, do y'all like Marilyn Mosley? I did. I like her because I mean I like her pretty. Did you much vote? Yeah. Did you vote? I did vote yeah. for her. You vote? Yeah. You vote? I like you vote? Her. Yes, I like mm-hmm. her. She come and buy food out my store. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, she did. Her, Cause she, she she she's real. Yeah, she she's is. not about the system. She's not being a follower like on Instagram. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? She's being different. She's mm-hmm. she's a different she's a different person to me. Okay. The um eighteen year old girl that got shot, I think, on Appleton. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's what's her name? Taylor. 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 Wow. Well, I mean, what y'all think? What's your what's your input on that? Starting with you. <laughs> to be honest, it's senseless, and I just feel like you know. You know, the, the the sad but good part about it is you don't know when you're going to die. You but you're going to die. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Everything happens for a reason. Maybe that's something to tell whoever how she came out of. It's time to move out the fucking neighborhood. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? You just never know. But my condolences go to her and her family because she was an innocent person, you know. But, you know, shit happens. That just goes to show yeah. where L... L generation Society. Is cool. Like it's mm-hmm. not even safe For your kids To walk outside And go to the corner store Like 
Come on now. Like, that's sad. Like, it's really pathetic. And that goes to show for the, the people that's in, in position of order. Like, stuff like that is not supposed to be going on. Put that stuff in order. Put them blocks in order. Yeah. yeah. They, 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 they let too much stuff go. And Everything's my about order. Is she 18 years old and can't and walk that's, to that's the that's what takes store? it back to See, the dope back boys. Back in that yeah. day, like, when we was coming up, when the guys run away knew something was going on, we couldn't come we in. Couldn't come we couldn't come out. They clean everything in. out. Bye. Go your we couldn't come, out. House. We couldn't come mm-hmm. around there. Because yeah. they know that was, that was something going Something get ready to go down. Yeah. Because you know what something get ready to go down. And that takes it back to the block, right? Mm-hmm. How you supposed to make money on a block if it's so much killing hmm. over there? That fucks your money. It up. ain't you about the money. You supposed to keep, you supposed to keep your block safe as possible. To avoid and in that order. shit. Now yes. you gotta wait two and three weeks to go back to hustle to make that money you was making before mm-hmm. that person got mm-hmm. shot. Cause now the police on your block and you got them big ass uh, lights, lights and shit mm-hmm. sitting in front of your block. Now you can't make no money and everybody mad. First of all, it that could have been avoided. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like it's a lot of people out here getting killed over pride. Hmm. It be small shit. It's it's all about pride. Cause a days. nigga say something, oh yo, that nigga ain't getting away with that. Like yo, my father always said, instead of fighting it out, talk it out, you'll live longer. Sometimes hmm. you gotta talk the shit out. It ain't mm-hmm. worth fighting and you know yeah, killing a motherfucker for what? Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. then you mad cause you got life plus whatever, or you got you did years, you got life. Years. Come mm-hmm. on now, like. What you get out of it? Nothing. You getting a commissary bag. That's all you getting out of it. Like, <laughs> and a phone yeah. call. You feel me? It's in not worth room. it. And everybody that said free you ain't even, ain't even free Ain't even you. putting nothing after on your whole, books. After that year over. That's so, it. Not even a year. You tell me the we shit ain't worth it. That before we came over here and we was talking about how they, they, we doing a white man job by killing each yeah. other. And then yes, we are. once just you get caught, back. you going to have the ones who six feet under R.A. did, mm-hmm. who can't reproduce mm-hmm. to keep our race going. And then yeah. you're going to have the ones who are slaves. Because jails is nothing but slavery. slavery. Yeah. 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 When you're yeah. working for a couple cents a day to build furniture, to build whatever they need done for the society to run. Mm-hmm. So it's slavery. And, and that's get like what they five. want y'all to do. That's why they talk to black men as much. That's why they doing all the. They don't see that they just want them to be slaves. Y'all slaves. Would they get like two hundred thousand or fifty thousand or something every time somebody get locked up? Uh, I think, I think it's two hundred. I think it's two hundred thousand. Or is it twenty thousand dollars an inmate? It's something they getting. Cause we was talking get, about that. Like we gotta eat this, and they get and such they and such paid. A couple cent a day when you work mm-hmm. for the jail. I think it's two cent. You work, get a couple cent a day to build furniture, to do all these things that these big corporations need done, and you working for nothing. That's slavery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it definitely is. But uh, speaking of slavery, I love your shirt, Tasha. Thank you. Thank you. So what what do y'all think the solution is like? What, what, let me ask you this question. Let me get to this question. Uh, if you made it and you made your pink, and what would you want to do? How would you get back to your community? To be honest, it'll start with the kids with me. Mm-hmm. I would try yeah. to figure out a solution, a way to try to get these kids more involved and in stuff, positive mm-hmm. stuff. Because nowadays, to be honest, it's you know the kids these days listening to cussing and all that, and that mm-hmm. draws them the opposite way. Mm-hmm. So it's like. If I could try to, you know, I would try to get two or three rec centers, but I really do want to start with the homeless people too, because there's too many homeless people out here, and it, it's too many yeah. vacant houses. There's mm. no reason it's it's about the whole block. I'm going to get me some of them houses. A, it, it, I don't understand. They dollar houses, to be mm-hmm. honest. Mm-hmm. They dollar houses. All of them vacant, and it's 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 about five homeless men on the side of the vacant house with mm-hmm. tents. Like I don't I don't understand that. I don't understand that. So it's like. And then the sad part about it is those people have, like, mental issues from going through stuff that they went through. Like, why not help them? Why not help them? But I would start with the kids first to try to get, you know, find a better solution for the kids. To be honest, I don't know the exact solution I would do, but I would try to start with them. Something. I think it got everything to do with what our kids is learning. Like, Mm -hmm. they need to know about banking and and how to save money financial you know issues and you know basic survival skills because some people don't have street smarts so they don't have common sense to know to (laughs) do certain things a certain way you know what i'm saying so i I think it got everything to do with what our kids is being taught as well Mm -hmm. and they gotta Mm -hmm. stay off this social media and Mm -hmm. and internet and and cyber they gotta get out the cyber world and get back into reality to be quite frank so, put what do y'all so think? Of, the way I'm, well, mm-hmm. what I'm going to do 
to get back. Well, I'm starting with the kids as well. Mm -hmm. I love the children. And so I'm going to do my um, back to school drive this end of this summer. I'm going to do that. But I also want to, like, when my business grow where I need it to really be, mm -hmm. I do want to build a center mm -hmm. in my neighborhood for the mm -hmm. kids. I always have wanted to um, do something like that, either build a center or some type of um, tennis court or whatever it is that can bring something positivity to the kids, some yeah. activities to the children mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I always want to start with the kids first. And then, of course, on occasions we feed the homeless we did we have done even when we was in a house mm -hmm. selling food we have done yes. um feed the homeless drives thanksgiving dinners and all them type of things like mm -hmm. that already before we mm -hmm. even got you know legit so yeah so when you say influence when people speak about influencing kids and all the ways that kids supposed to be all right if you if, if your mother doing a hard job and all that with the kids growing up thinking it's cool for um, men to use women bathroom and women to use men bathroom. Speaking on that topic, how do you you know for y'all? I mean, all of that. You know, that's I mean, that whole school. community. I can't speak on that because my my children don't even they not expo they don't even know nothing about that. To get back on topic, so speaking of that community, how you feel about them having those type of cartoons, those having those type of sitcoms that's on the big the big uh, channels like NBC, ABC. You know, I think it's called what, Two and a Half Men or something like that. Shows like that that's broadcasting and making this thing fit and making it seem like it's cool. You know what I'm saying? To be like, honest, I don't feel like it's cool, but the truth is the truth. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they're going to learn it one day. But I feel like at that time, as kids, certain stuff kids shouldn't be watching. Exposed like self-talk. Yes. All that yes. stuff. The, that's the why I can't speak on All that. that stuff. They yes. shouldn't be watching that stuff. But eventually... It's the truth. Eventually, Cause they gonna know. They gonna grow but into they it. They gonna cartoons. figure it out. I think they are. They are. They are. They have dark cartoons. You as a parent should know not for them not to watch it. I don't think that they should be exposed to that because think about it. We grew up. They barely had like the type it of was, it was it was hitting. Yeah. That we had, had Powerpuff like, yeah. Girls. See that type of we stuff. had yeah. Powerpuff Girls. Rocket Power. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, Brennan Stimpy. But I will see them. Just to uh -huh. see the billboards, you see billboards with yeah, that stuff on. You see, it just thing. displayed out. Like I mean, all of it. It's oh, like it just, it just, it just. When I was younger, if you was a part of that community, it was a secret well, and it was just now kept it's, underground. It's not a secret anymore because yeah, out, people are coming out and they're proud about it. Now, me, I don't judge. Right. Me neither. No. That's I don't judge transgenders or gay people. I actually love I gay love people. Them. Me you too. Know, right. They find people. But they are who they are. It's a reason why they like that. You know, some of them say they're born like that. I don't know. Because you, <laughs> you know, get some. But yeah. I don't think it's yeah. just yeah. much exposure it's nothing, though, like, nothing to, to really judge kids. because right. I done seen little kids from when they was little. We knew they was going to be gay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We knew right. they was going to be gay. And then you got so, some parents, you got some males, and then they adopt a child as a little girl or a little boy. She turned out to like girls. You never know. Like it's, it's We don't, we don't know, know where it come from, but mm -hmm. it's here. So, it's just up to how the child is going to be. You don't know if you're going to have straight children or you're going to have gay children, but they're going to be But you know. Like I mean, you the know. The second they start, mean, even when they, know. when they start to walk in and uh, you know. You, I mean, you know. You know. There's nothing wrong with that community. And we knew they were going to be gay. And we, when we said it, that's exactly what they yeah. are today. Yeah. Hey. They're teenager, they're gay. Thanks. I don't think it's nothing wrong with the community because so. it's America. I you can be what you want and be who you are. And it's but actually legal then. America is they like They letting the gay now. couples marry each other. It's so funny because mm -hmm. we know people from Jamaica. We know people from other countries. They will kill you if yes. you're gay. Yes. You know, they will mm -hmm. kill you if you're gay. And it's yes. not right. I don't think it's right because how can you tell somebody how, how to feel? Is. How If this is something inside your body and this is something you want to do, like, you know, how can you tell somebody yeah. how to be if that's not what they desire? Right. Yeah, point blank period. I'm saying it's nothing wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? I have a few people a part of that community in my family. Can teach it. And that's that. But I don't like it being publicized. I don't yeah, think it should yeah, be on TV. Do. I shouldn't don't think it should be on billboards. I think that should be an option. If that's what you into, that's what you into. Yeah. But I don't think you should have that in a in, in a mass jigs and in like I, it's, it, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be publicized. It shouldn't be glorified as much as it is because you send in a mix. You have to ask yourself if, if you're a part of that community. Do you want them raising your son? It, or you not giving you, you want to show well, your son that this cool? Black, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like. It, 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 do you want your son saying that? Like, do you want your son? Do you want your son to be a well, man or making? You know what I mean? You're like, I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, it's, it's tough. I'm gonna love my child regardless of what they. Yeah, you gonna love him regardless. But I feel like 
as a child, no, they shouldn't be knowing that. That should it should be nothing. They should, it should be blocked really out because you know they saying the schools now. The, the the um, I think it starts in middle schools. If you like go that way, you can go to the same bathroom as the women and the other people. I don't go know the same. about. I never heard about that. No, that's going on. You well, maybe it's in Google. Baltimore City because ain't going no. Nowhere no, else. I don't think it's in Baltimore City. It's in some other places like Salt Lake City, Love Utah, and, and 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 San Francisco. Where the um where that community is most popular. So, mm-hmm. what's the next yeah. move for like for starting with you for 2019? What's like what's your goals? Can you give us like two of them before we get out of here? To be honest, my goal is to expand more, mm-hmm. and my second goal is to try to you know figure something out where I can involve more people and everybody can make money. Like that's my second plan. Like it's not it's not more so a goal. But it's like a plan that I plan to do, and I'm definitely going to execute excel it. it. Yeah. yeah, but it's like I want to figure out a way where everybody can make money. We all can come together and, mm-hmm. you know, do mm-hmm. something together. Yeah, that's what it means, trademark and yeah. trademark and the, trademark and the hustle and franchising it out. That's how you expand it. You know what I mean? So, Tasha, what's your plan is going to 2019 and, and going into 2020, even though we early in the year? Well, I'm definitely oh, yeah, the stepping baby. into mommyhood, so I just want to, you know, figure out how to have a fine balance between working mm-hmm. and raising my son, who's definitely going to need all the, the boy. hands-on training as possible, because he's mm-hmm. a young black man that's coming into this world, hmm. so and you ain't going I for just want to make sure that he already 10 steps ahead. Hmm. Oh, my God, that's mm-hmm. beautiful. And Miss Carter, what's what's up? I mean, what's is, is, is the show on VH1? Um, no, I'm trying to get the show on uh, VH1. TV1. I'm trying to like, how are we going to do this? If I could really have a show and y'all would watch, y'all would laugh so much. That's them two stores is crazy. We need okay. people like y'all to continue so, to be around. Um, so, hell yeah, we got to set it up. We can come in and do some interviews in there, man. Yeah, you can do interviews in there. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, what's next for me is opening a sit in. Restaurant. Mm. Um, I'm ready for my sit-in restaurant. People been asking, and um, and then the second goal is to open up in another state. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I've been doing research and on that. Like what state? And close or distantly? The A. Distant. A- not Atlanta. The, definitely not the A, but distant. Um, I'm not gonna tell the state because okay. you know. Okay. Okay. Miss Carter said definitely not the A. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's but right. Not the a. Everybody down but, there. That's right. Yeah, I'm not. You don't follow the wave, you are the wave. That's right. Exactly. So, mm-hmm. but it's gonna be a nice spot. I've been, um, I've been, you know, in that state for a while. Like, mm-hmm. you know, I've been shopping around, looking at things. Hey, my boyfriend, he goes and he researched for me or whatever the case right. may be. So, yep, sitting here, sitting in another place, mm. restaurant. That is beautiful. And I'll be sitting in. That is the yep, name me beautiful. <laughs> Before we get out of here, I got to ask the two guys I want to ask you about. First, Soldier Boy, greatest comeback of 2019. And then I got to ask about the guy, the man, the, 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 the headache of the year. Robert, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay. 302, 202. Yo, we got to ask y'all before we get out of here. Like, Soldier Boy, give me going down the line real quick. Okay. Soldier Boy, greatest comeback, the interview, Breakfast Club. Everyone's seen it. We just got to get some input on it. Look, y'all. To be Sorry. honest, I ain't watch it because <laughs> I, I thought he was going to have on that uh, droopy-ass uh, Gucci little bandana <laughs> thing, so I ain't watch that shit. <laughs> Michigan, eight, one, and two, okay. I'm going to keep it 100. I ain't watch I it. I didn't either. R. Kelly, quick. All right, to be honest with the R. Kelly situation, I feel Hold like... Hold up, do you believe it or not? Yes or no? To be honest, yeah no. I'm going to say yeah and no Because at the end of the day I feel like if they going to lock him up Lock the fucking parents up because Thank you when, I'm not when, answering this question I, again When did when, No schools called And, and, and reported the Thank child you. not coming to school I mean what's It was about on? a bag And soon they realized right. they weren't getting, getting that bag no And then they more, wanted to expose him yeah, yeah and I'm going to keep it 100 I can't keep guess saying what? this enough My ass probably would have been in that motherfucker too Trying to get some money <laughs> I'm going to keep that shit 100 <laughs> That's, That's the first one shit. I don't keep that shit a stack. Yeah. So I don't see why people feel in some type of way. All right, they were 17 and all that, but them younger ones, yo. But you got to think when they were 17, Finney, he was only 23. You got to, I mean, like you got to take back when he said, was 23 years why old. Why the fuck you on, uh, why the fuck you on, uh, what's that show, Lifetime? You supposed to be on HLN and CNN mm-hmm. and WJZ. You ain't supposed to be on no fucking Lifetime channel trying to get some money it's if something child. really happened to your child. You feel what I'm saying? They it's still worrying about a bag. Mm-hmm. Oh, we coming in there. 
We can, it's gonna be a block party in that house. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody playing. We we burning that bitch my, down. I don't, to the I don't even think he would have made it's it. My kids to in there, TV. Period. Tasha. If it was mine. And I don't feel like them girls was. Uh, I don't feel like them girls was chained up. They, they wasn't. Out anytime they I, it was about a bag. Right. I yeah. blame the parents. Yes. I then, blame the parents. And I feel like his security team should be locked the fuck up too because they was in on the team. He been pissing on people up. since I was a kid, and I'm 33 years old. Right. Everybody. And need I to remember go to jail. watching the video. Everybody need to go to jail. Tasha, how you feel about him? Sparkle guilty news, right? or not guilty? He's definitely guilty. He's definitely <laughs> guilty. But. It, it, it's a give and take with his guiltiness, mm-hmm. okay? Because he had a lot of people that condoned in the guiltiness. Yes. Once the shit hit the fan, everybody was like, oh, no, I ain't doing it. He did that shit by himself and wanted to snitch on him. Mm-hmm. That's how life is, for real. That's how motherfuckers That's how go. you out. Soldier Boy, I just think his ass was too high, and motherfuckers thought this was funny, and it just went viral, and they go his comeback. Boom. <laughs> Dope. <It's kind> of- <laughs> I ain't see it, but. I no, it was funny. I think Kelly is guilty. Um, I do think he need to go to jail. Mm-hmm. You know, he do. He's a predator. You know, we might have some hot ass little girls that was around. Yeah. But, but you still blame who? I blame the man. Because he didn't kidnap him. The parents actually no, sent them. Yeah. But he's a predator. Yeah, I he's definitely a predator. Man. That doesn't justify you know, the fact that he did something wrong. You know laws. what I mean? It's I blame laws. the man. When you're a certain age, you're not supposed to be fucking 17. Or even visualizing to that's having true. even having that's the true. sexual you know, so anything doing with that's mm-hmm. against the law of you can't really blame the parents because I mean that. I was 17 probably dealing with guys but, you might years older than me, you but these what parents what? is on there yeah. telling you I sent my daughter with him they he he said that they were working it was about a bag to me my my yeah. my answer will always be the same that doesn't justify so the fact that he was wrong because so so parents get so caught up in well uh, we black parents a lot of us come from the hood we so poor so when somebody come and they got the money bag, the money yeah, my daughter can sing. They just uh, want, they just want to get out the hood. They just want to get out their condition. So they first thing they thinking is, I want my child to be a star. This man can help because who is it? It's all Cali. Okay. You know. So so did y'all 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 sat and watched it, right? Yeah, I watched yeah. it. So so the, the 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 allegations that the parents was saying, you know, uh, I couldn't get in contact with my daughter after such and such time. You think that they shouldn't have brought that up front? To the oh, police or no, somebody back then. That's, it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it, 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 they all they should have already known something fishy was going on. You don't wait like ten and fifteen years later. Should you you should have sent them to jail then when, when it was going on. Go because if I don't talk yeah. to my child in a week and and she's supposed to be with this guy working, mm-hmm. I'm coming looking for. I'm, not I'm looking for you. I'm not waiting. Yeah. I'm not waiting ten years later. Why the fuck the schools and ain't called? The schools, because if my school. child missed three days, I'm getting a letter. Yeah. The first day, your yeah. child yeah. missed such and such days. days. It's twenty six mm-hmm. days in the school year, and she missed two. Mm-hmm. As far as Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy is a clown, but he is at the same time. <laughs> yeah. that was his you comeback. Know, yeah, yeah, I like Soulja Boy. <laughs> but he's been at the same time. Yeah, he was talking about him again. Yeah. But he is smart though. Mm-hmm. Like he do, he do know how to hustle. Mm-hmm. He do know how to get money outside of music, and you can't take that away from him. You know, mm-hmm. or everything that he has accomplished. You know, that's just his facts. That's just mm-hmm. what he his facts. That's just what he do in life. But he his attitude, his demeanor is real. You know, he a clown. Yeah, funny as shit. <laughs> I, I enjoy him when he on social media. Cause yeah, I for my ass yeah, off, he he definitely is funny. He definitely, yeah, he definitely need to grow up. <laughs> but I I personally think with the the R Kelly situation, <laughs> that's just a whole lot more. No, I I, I, I believe when I just I'm I'm to make it brief. Just when he when he was doing his interview with Gail King, I saw that R Kelly immediately stopped talking to Gail. It wasn't about Gail no more. That he one little part. No, nah, listen. The one little part where he stood up, all jokes aside, and said, "Is that is that camera on? It's a white guy standing in front of that camera. If you go back and look, it's mm-hmm. crazy." Stop talking to Gail. This mm-hmm. wasn't about Gail or the case. He said, "I gave you thirty years of my career. This ain't about no music. This ain't about none of that. I'm trying to relationship with my kid." Right then and there, my eyebrows went. Plus, I used to love English in school. Mm-hmm. My eyebrows went up to say, oh, you're not talking to these people. He's not even addressing his child. He's talking to something that's bigger than bigger than my brain. He's talking to something that's bigger than Gail's pay rate, his pay rate. He's talking about something else. 
something else because this man been doing this shit for years and this man got money to cover it up and the parents was covering it up for the bread. All of a sudden, this has hit the fan. Somebody, somebody's upset or something's going on that now all of a sudden this man gonna be crucified and this man been jamming over his music for 30 years. Mm, he's iconic. Everything if this one never came people. up, he's one of our people that you would want on your t-shirt uh -huh. for great people to ever touch I'm the microphone and dance. Him. But why is they taking this from him? Everybody got stuff in their closet that don't come out. Why your stuff come out? Then he beat it, was acquitted of everything, was left alone, and then this popped back up. That's because the money. The exactly. money. It's the money. the money. Exactly. But I think it's somebody got bigger. No money and they trying to fuck with him now. No, he got money. He got money. I don't appreciate that. He got money. He emptied them accounts it out when he knew be. the warrant was coming. It could be. Oh, Kelly got out. money. That boy, 12 play. Twelve play. He said, "That's Ooh, a lot. That's a, that's going on. Yeah, yeah. Play. I'm, Ooh, I'm gonna listen to twelve play. Sorry. So he, he that that song alone, that album alone, are just he'll be eating off of that a lifetime. But the smart thing to do, what well, the same thing I would do, if I know that you're coming for me, the account's getting empty out. There's yeah. some pennies in here. When I post bail, somebody's posting it for me. Everything's going in foreclosure, but the millions ain't you ain't touching them." You ain't getting them. I sell all these houses, all this jewelry, all this car you can have that. And that's and then they file bankruptcy. And next thing you know, they'll say, it's just seen, and TMZ will say, just seen R. Kelly in the drop top fan on Hollywood Boulevard. How is he broke? You get what I'm saying? So that's what's going on. It just, I think it's just above our pay rate and just above our understanding of what was going on. But at the end of the day, I think superstars being too deep. And you and you know you you sign some papers and you and you and you join a club that, that can fuck your life over, you know what I'm saying? And so the worst thing is the media. So what's going on with Michael Jackson? Because I've been seeing they a little bit. Of I'm letting him rest, rest in peace. Sense. I don't like it. I'm gonna yeah, crucify Elvis Presley. I'm gonna roast Elvis Presley on yeah. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We doing a roast to Elvis Presley because he's the worst predator in the world. But they don't bring that up. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? Don't. He's the worst predator in the world. These, yeah. these, he a full yeah, team, a full exactly. They the worst predators in the world. Them rock and roll stars mm -hmm. and them dudes, man. God it's Almighty, what they had Kelly, backstage. He murdered Aaliyah at 15. You feel I me? Mean, he was wrong then. But see, she lied and said she was 18 because on the thing it said 18. And he said so did the other girls, right? I mean, back then y'all all females though. Y'all know. Just check this out. A club. That you know you were 16, it was 21 to get old. They don't guy. even card females because they want the club to look good. Mm -hmm. Imagine what can happen. If somebody think you 21, is 21 and over, and a 30-year-old holler at you. When it hit the fan, this little girl, 16-year-old, she done gotten this. She done went to this hotel, and there's a whole thing that happened. But that's she got in said, the 21 and over that's spot. That's why I said I kept that shit 100. I probably would have been one of the ones over that motherfucker because he had money. I'm going to keep mm -hmm. that shit 100. Because a majority right. of us know, let's keep shit 1,000 mm -hmm. in here, right? Mm -hmm. When we was in high school, we was fucking yeah, with them niggas baby. that was getting our nails done, uh, toes uh, done, buying that shit. So oh, when I, when I was in middle shit. school, my... Yeah. Yeah, let's get Now, when Young was my boyfriend, I was getting drove to school. Yeah, let's keep shit. They say stack. flew me out. Let's keep shit. City girls. Stack. Your parents yeah, giving you two dollars or something. And I was fourteen years and old and he was what? Seven, eighteen. Dollars fifty dollars. Yeah. Shit. Like yeah, your parents giving you two dollars for shit to eat. Five. He giving for you shit that big twenty. They giving you twenty, thirty, <laughs> forty dollars. Shit. I'm keeping Stop that Stop playing. Yeah. Stop I'm keeping playing. That I probably would have been up in that motherfucker too, but I wouldn't have stayed in there. I'd have got what I got it and rolled and the I fuck rolled out. out. And yeah. nobody would have never knew I went in there. Nobody would have never knew I went in that motherfucker either. Nobody know you got pissed on. Just got your money and got pissed on. Been gone. You'd have been gone. <laughs> but uh, one thing we want to thank y'all once again. You know, we, we, we came up with this um, Very podcast. Very interesting interview. I love you, ladies. And we I came up with this more. podcast to give the. I, we noticed, Miss Carter, you never had no interviews. I don't know if you had interviews, but we looked for them. We didn't really find nothing. Oh, but you best but believe they're going to. I had an interview, not my first podcast, one. but I had one in the, um, the Baltimore. Oh, like the Suns, yeah, right? The, the uh, city paper, right? Yeah, but I, didn't do, I, have, I haven't had a podcast. A couple people ask me, but I be like so busy sometimes, so. Yeah. Well, thank this you for giving time. us the opportunity. This is my first <laughs> yes. yes. This is my first interview, period. 
<laughs> oh, they're gonna come at you. Yeah, they, yeah, you're gonna get a lot more now. You're gonna get the DMs. Everybody wanna them. talk to I you now. You. We kinda like break the trends, but I promise you that. The reason why we made this, once again, we tell y'all, is for the people without a voice to have a voice. So it, it, you can have a hundred followers, you can have a million followers. If you're doing something and you trying to get to the next level, mm-hmm. we we giving out free advertisement. Meaning okay. that we saying we wanna raise awareness of this person, whether they draw mm-hmm. pictures, cook, dance, sing, I mean all types of people sell hair whatever you doing and you grinding for we just admire the effort and we like to give the have nots a voice because people tend everybody want to get the big stars and everybody so we built the platform for the people that's doing something that to, to let you know what's going on where you can find that good food how you pull up and how you go about business and that's what we built this platform but we thank y'all ladies for coming out and we hope we can have a second interview with y'all going towards the end of the summer well, i got and one thing to say before i get out of here oh wait baby anybody that's looking starting a business whether it's home or wherever you starting your business at the key to, to, to success is consistency whatever you're doing you gotta stay consistent, consistent with, with it, it yeah. exactly. if you stay consistent with it then you're gonna see how much your business gonna grow you're gonna see your funds stack up I'm trying to tell you consistency is key it consistency and I wanna say key. one thing too mm-hmm. shout out to them two boys that play the drums cause oh, they, yeah. they, they yeah. putting shit on for yes. the city yes. yeah, yeah Dolph gave yeah. one I'm like 30,000 or something they that came down Memphis the city. Yeah. shout out they them. working they yeah. working shout out to them. They we working. need more kids like them yeah, yeah. I think and that you doing their thing and they do the Ellen show and everything mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. I, I mean I mean your ground like you said um, consist- I remember that word I remember that word discipline yeah consistency is everything Homeboys on the block told me that when we used to open up and then we were he like how y'all gonna get you can't open up this month and then don't open up next month yeah. or you can't open up this week and don't no you gotta be consistent with it if you want to yeah. get some money yeah. you gotta be consistent yeah. with that's it. With anything in life that, consistency i was like consistency. i just consistency i just was like okay it's consistency on. and that's yeah. the number one rule but once again if y'all never been told i my all three of y'all ladies that's why we wanted to have y'all Thank out you. here we appreciate y'all business and we just mm-hmm. respect y'all for putting on for the city and we congratulate y'all and we wish you more we hope you have a safe pregnancy and everything goes well with Healthy. the kids you well I want you to open our multiple trucks we can't wait for the sit down spot and this is raw dope podcast and i'm your host hand 5000 and it's your girl molly and we out of here all right and she gonna get a couple pictures we gonna get a couple Bye, pictures y'all. for y'all yeah. <laughs> we really y'all. appreciate really- it